Hi YouTube, today we're going to be looking at what could arguably be the second most hated rifle in the United States. This is the AK, and before we go any further, I'm going to show you that this evil AK is clear and has nothing in it. Okay, this is a Sentry Arms Visca AK, chambered in 762 by 39 See the visca written on the side of it. And I'm going to talk a couple things about this rifle. And I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm going to tell you why I chose this one. And um, whatever have you. So the reason I chose this rifle is I refuse to promote anything that's made in a country that absolutely hates us. And... I don't understand why anybody would do that. The AK was designed in Russia, and I'm not an AK expert. I'm going to let you know that. Right, I know very little about them, but I know enough to be dangerous. The AK was designed in Russia, and they used to import them over here. Well, Russia hates your guts. I'm telling you right now, folks, they hate your guts. And these people will go pay these high dollars for these Russian imported AKs, and all they're doing is lining the pockets of a country that hates your guts. And I refuse to do that. And if you've looked at this channel up to now, I'm not a cheap person. I will, I will spend money on quality stuff and stuff that I like. And if I really wanted to make it happen, I could go buy a Russian Vepper or a Chinese AK. And there's several thousand dollars and I can make that happen. I'm not going to do it. I refuse. I struggled with this thing a long time on whether I wanted to even own an AK or not. And the reason I chose this one is this is made by Sentry Arms. This is a 100% American made one. And that turns off a lot of AK people. And I don't understand why. They would rather go buy an imported rifle made by a country that hates them. And I can't, I can't bring myself to do that. Now, there was a time where an AK was one of the cheapest um, rifles that you could buy. You could go to any gun show and get one for two or $300, maybe $400, and they were all over the place, and you couldn't give them away. And when we started putting sanctions on Russia and not accepting imported Russian rifles and all that, the price went through the roof on them, and any AK now is expensive. And this particular one, this is what the AK people would call an entry level one. It's one of the most inexpensive ones that you can buy and it's still pretty expensive in, in my standards. I paid more for this rifle than I ever thought I would pay for an AK. And the reason I chose this one is it's 100% American made. Um, I was looking at ones with wooden furniture on it and all that and I couldn't really find one with the correct color that I really like, you know, I mean, some of them be too light, some of them be too dark. I'm not going to buy one that has the Russian red wood on it because I'm not going to celebrate Russia. So I just elected to go with the all black one. Just got polymer furniture on it. And, um, that's why I chose it. Now, Century Arms started manufacturing actual, um, American made AKs several years ago and their initial ones was a flop and it's widespread all over the internet now I'm sure it's not quite as extreme as people make it out to be but they did have some problems with them and it is well documented this is their newer released one they came out with these four or five years ago and they beefed some stuff up and um, all the bolt and internals are made out of tool steel which is some of the hardest steel you can have and um, I liked what I saw when I um, when I chose this one. This one has a couple features I like. It has the hole right here on the safety for the bolt stop. It has an extended uh, mag release that you can easily get to with your thumb without changing your grip stance to drop the magazines out of it. I like that. It does not have an optic mount on the side of it. So some of the AK people will lose their minds, but you really need an optic on an AK? Come on. This is not an accurate rifle. This is a 100-yard rifle at best. And if you need something to go out further than 100 yards, you probably don't need to be choosing an AK.
So, um, the reason that um, these things use, have been used in so many crimes and stuff like that, and they consider them an assault weapon, was usually they were considered one of the cheapest weapons. They were the easiest to get. The ammunition is cheap for them, and the rifles were cheap. One recent times, that's all changed. You can go to any gun store across the United States and look. And they'll have tons of ARs out there, just endless ones. Every different brand, color, shape, size, calibers, anything you can think of. They'll have a very limited number of these in there. And when they do, they cost a lot of money. I mean, the cheapest ones are not cheap. So, the people aren't going to be as opt to go out and buy these and use them in crimes and all that stuff these days because of the cost of them. It's the same as, um, I watch a show called The First 48 and you and I pay attention to firearms and they're like, there's 40 caliber shells casings all over the place. Well, the reason it is because that's the cheapest weapons there are to buy because nobody wants a 40 caliber weapon for some reason. And what's cheap is usually what the criminals are going to go after. It's just, just a fact of life here. Well, the AKs used to be that way, and it's not that way anymore. These things are super expensive. The price has just been driven through the roof, and I just don't understand it. <clears throat> but I am not going to glorify any country that doesn't like us. I'm not going to do it. And I chose this one because it is 100% American-made, and it has a few features on it I like. Sentry Arms improved everything. They fixed all their problems. I mean, every, everybody has growing pains, and this was a new thing to manufacture AKs in the United States, and they figured it out, and this is the product that they came up with, and it seems to work really well. So one of the other things AK people look at is this has got a, a um, stamp steel receiver on it instead of a milled receiver, and I believe that the folks that sit there and debate on whether a stamp steel receiver is better than a milled receiver or vice versa i think they're closely related to the people that debate on whether glock should have finger grooves in them or not <laughs> it blows my mind i mean come on folks steel is steel this gun's not coming apart now i've Closely inspected, all the rivets on it, everything looked good. It's well built. This gun's not coming apart, and it is a stamped receiver. A milled receiver is usually a, makes for a heavier rifle, and why a rifle like a quote unquote battle rifle? Why would you want it to be heavy? The very original AKs, they were stamped steel. Those um, those very original ones that the collectors pay all the money for their 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 stamp steel and so is this one this rifle doesn't do anything any different i had a friend of mine that bought a russian vepper years and years and years ago and he kept it in the box and kept the cleaning rod and all that stuff on it and he sold it online like a year ago and I, I can't remember what that thing went for, but it was close to $4,000 it went for. This rifle looks exactly like it. doesn't have a bayonet lug on it. That's one of the things that the AK people will go off on. Who cares? Do these people really attach bayonets on them and go stab people with them? It's ridiculous. And it doesn't have the little thing for the cleaning rod to go in it. Well, guess what? I have a cleaning rod at my house. That's what I clean it with. But... I just want to let y'all know that the reason I chose this rifle is it's 100% American made and that's a turn off to AK people, but it's not a turn off to me. That's a plus to me and it's more affordable than an imported AK. I guess you could say more affordable. Just no AK is going to be um, affordable these days. None of them are going to be very cheap, but... That is my AK, and that is why I chose the Century Yarns Visca 7.62 by 3.9 AK. And if you have any questions on it, I mean, you can try and ask. I'll do my best to answer them. I'm not an AK expert at all. I don't, I don't understand the um, infatuation with them. I just like firearms. I think 
I think people should be open-minded, so that's why I, that's why I purchased this one. But if truth, the truth be known, if any, if I had to grab a rifle to defend myself, this would not be the one I would grab. I'd grab an AR all day long. I'm gonna do a video soon where I'll compare the AR to the AK platforms. I'll compare two normal ones side by side, and you can um, form your opinion from that. This video is my opinion on AKs, and my opinion is worth exactly what you paid for it when you clicked on this video to watch it. But I would like to hear other people's um, opinions on why this thing's a piece of junk, or why it's great, or anything like that. Just keep in mind, folks, these countries do not like you. Don't glorify them. Don't glorify people that do not like you. If you want to buy an AK, I mean, that's great. People, people have different opinions. If you think an AK is a great weapon, there's nothing wrong with that. But don't glorify a country that does not like you. That's, a, that's all I'm saying about that. But anyway, folks, I've rambled on long enough about my AK. I wanted to just show, you, show it off. This is the only one I own. It's probably going to be the only one I ever own. And let me know what you think about it. And thank you very much for watching my video. And you folks have a great day.